welcome my name is Kathy A and yes this is part two of my December faves and flops and you know I had ordered stuff at the beginning of the month it didn't come until the end of the month I did my December um, yearly faves videos both of them the one for high end and the one for drugstore I'll link those below uh, and at the end of this video um, but there were still some other things that came about during the month that I tried because of other people's favorites or I hadn't really given them enough chance yet to give a good opinion on their effectiveness. So I thought I would go over this and I'll show you actually how I applied them all uh, as well. So it's kind of like a twofer. I'm doing a before and after. You can see how I'm doing. <laughs> but um, anyway. Uh, the first thing I want to discuss, I think, is uh, lifestyle stuff. And this was a huge fail. This thing, <laughs> you're supposed to put it around your head and wrap your wet hair around it, and then you tie it at the ends. Uh, you need to be a, like, acrobat in a circus to pull this off. I mean, I tried holding it and pulling my hair around. like I could not get it to work. So maybe you have to have super long hair for this to work. It's supposed to be a, like an overnight hair curling thing, but I mean my hair is, it's not short. I mean it's, you know, down to here. I couldn't get this thing to work and it was just so awkward and goofy. And you know, the people on t on the ads for it, you know, they just like la 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 and they had it all wrapped nice. I, it didn't work for me. So this was a fail. <laughs> a big fail. Um, I didn't go over any hair care, skin care, anything like that, uh, faves and fluffs for the year. So I thought I would just briefly go over some skin care. Um, and I tell you, these people just get it every time these people get it. Um, I'm almost out of this one, actually. This is a, a La Cura. La Cura? La Cura? This is from Aldi. And if you get this particular item, you're going to love this. This is a facial cleanser. Um, I absolutely love this. And it was on sale for $3.78, $3.78 at my local Aldi. I use this all year long. I use it in the shower and I use it uh, in my um, regular sink when I'm not in the shower. So this is a wonderful product. Absolutely, totally my favorite of the year skin cleanser. It is the foaming gel cleanser. There's only one. They have one in a tube that I would not recommend. That's for people who have acne and oily skin. This is for everybody. This is for dry skin, aged skin, normal to dry skin, really dry skin. This is perfect. I love this. They also have a couple of moisturizers. This is their Q10 Night Cream. And then they have, this is the um, H2O Daily Serum. And I do use it. I'm almost out here, pretty much down to the last couple swipes. Uh, this isn't an empties video either. I, I honestly use this stuff. And this I just started to use. So it's, I'm still not, you know, the jury's out on this. So this is part of the December phase and flops. I'm still working on this but my skin feels great in the morning and again three dollars and 78 cents for all these skin care you can't go wrong there and of course the fenty beauty the fat water um i'm down about not quite to a third down in it i love this stuff and i mean you literally just shake a little out in your hand press it into your skin and then the excess put it on your hands and upper arms and you will you will love how your skin looks. I notice the difference in my hands as well as in my face. It's perfect for under makeup and it just works almost like a um, primer, really. You don't even need a primer over the top of this, but I have some texture and stuff, so I do <laughs> like to have natural looking hair things. <laughs> the rat, the rat topper. I don't know what they call it. It's the old lady thing. I don't know. I'm just using that today because I was doing a makeup thing and I wanted to um, just kind of show before and after and have my face showing more so. This is called Sex Appeal and this is from a makeup artist called Senya Roselli. I've been using this for the last four years. It is 
the best exfoliator product on the market hands down my favorite I have backups of this and I'm not a backup type person I don't believe in buying a couple of something to have it but this I always have a spare ready when this is gone um, I'm down to about here on this one I'll open the next one as soon as this is gone you shake it up protect your eyes you spray it you count to about five or ten and then you start making circles you spray it down here spray it here make your circles and it pulls off all of that excess outer layer of dead skin and I use this in the shower like twice a week maybe three times a week and it just works so well I, I do take it down the neck and the decollete as well so this is a perfect product I don't get commission it's not a, a link I get any kind of a commission on or anything they don't know me <laughs> I love this product. Sonia Roselli um, has several skincare items and a lot of these things are in makeup artist kits because they work so well. Um, you know, and I have I, I don't have a dog in this fight, and this is just my favorite, absolute favorite. Um, oh, I want to talk about this. <laughs> I, you know, I have a Timu order coming up, and this one has clothes, so it's going to be even more fun. I'm going to do that as a separate video, not because they asked me to, because I refused their offer, but because there's so much stuff there, I don't want to have it blending in with this. But this I had to bring up because some of you little grateful deadheads out there <laughs> told me this is a pot grinder. I thought it was going to be, I ordered it because it looked like it was this big online, and I wanted a coffee grinder for coffee beans to grind them down so I can have my coffee, you know, nice. I'm, I'm a real coffee snob. So I ordered this one. I got it. I'm like, this is so ridiculous. And it's got all these screens and all these other layers in it. You know, I'm like, what the heck? You know, what's with the screens? What's with the, the stuff? And you, you deadheads said, hey, that's a pot, that's a pot uh, grinder. So it grinds the seeds and stuff. You know, and I was a pretty cool kid in the 70s, if you know what I mean. But we, we used to just like push everything really hard into the bottom of the bomb. That's how we ground our, our stuff up. But they have this, it works really well. So those of you who corrected me and told me this was not indeed a coffee grinder that only grinds three beans at a time. It is actually a pot grinder. God bless those Timo people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I just thought I'd clarify that. Thank you, Deadheads, for letting me know that this was, in fact, Mary Jane's uh, best friend. Okay, hair. I used Isalon, and I tell you, Isalon, a few years ago, Isalon and Madison Reed were, were high-end hair care places where you could do the stuff at home, but they professionally got everything all gathered for you and put together so that when you put it together and did it on your hair at home, it would be like a salon result. Madison Reed is about the same price, um, but Isalon sends you more stuff. And I'll show you a couple of pictures of the, the display they sent. So they send you two pairs of gloves, they send you the little brushy thing, you know, if you want to apply it with the brush, they send you the bottle with the developer in it, and they sent me a 20% this time. They ask you a bunch of questions at eSalon, all about your hair, um, are you doing keratin treatments, like are you using like the K18 kind of a thing, or the Olaplex, are you using products on your hair, is your hair already colored, you know, and it was like, very, very detailed. What exactly is your hair color? What color do you exactly want it to be? And they make they make a individualized color for you and they even give you a little sticker to hold it up on your mirror with. I mean, they're very detailed. And, and this is, you know, <laughs> Catherine A's color. They even put it on the bottle. And they gave me these detailed directions on the back exactly how to do it. So I put it on my head, and I have pictures from, it's on my head. I, I saturated it with the bottle, and I zhuzh it with my gloved hands so that everything is covered. I used the whole bottle up, except for a little bit uh, on the bottom, and it looked kind of gray. 
a little grayish green to me and I was a little nervous and it went like purpley dark brown when it was processing and I was getting very nervous but I did wait the whole 25 minutes and when I rinsed it out I got this color which is pretty nice actually but it didn't touch my grays it didn't change my gray hair at all my gray hair was still showing I thought oh my goodness the other thing to worry about with Isalon is that I think I was Robert Welch had a link where you could get like a discount price for it and I used his link and I went on there and it, I, for ten dollars you know you get your first hair color kit but what they don't tell you is that you are agreeing to have them send it to you because they ask you one of the questions how often do you color your hair and I said well every five weeks or so so every five weeks they were going to send me another one and charge my credit card so it's very easy to get stuck there if you don't do that the hair color costs a lot more so you have to be very careful with with that financial thing and that's the biggest complaint I saw from people I went on the you know the Better Business Bureau site and I went and looked on reviews on eSalon and everything and boy I tell you people who bought the red hair colors and the deeper color oh boy were they angry they were angry and a lot of them they got stuck in that automated send out the color every month thing and they couldn't break it and they couldn't get in touch with a, a human customer service person to talk about it they sent emails they sent you know they went on the website and they hit all the buttons so I'll let you know if that happened with me but I mean I was very pleased with the color itself I was just unhappy with the fact that it didn't catch my grays and I'm not part of that gray brigade you know because I look very faded and old when I have gray hair it's grayish white and my hair had gotten to that kind of straw colored yellowy white color and so I'm I'm really pleased with this I think it's really nice um, but I also got this stuff which is called the camo mist and I guess this is kind of like a topic fiber and it's supposed to color your roots in between you know when your hair is starting to grow out and you haven't got your color yet but what I found is it just looks like yellow dust on my hair so um, I didn't think this was worth it was $14 for this and this is shade light blonde and it's just a light yellow powder looking stuff and it's cold when it comes out it's very cold and you can see it's kind of turned my scalp a little on the yellowy side so um, yeah <laughs> uh, um, I, I think just a fail just a fail um, I have started leveling up my diet exercise a little bit and you know in general I'm going to be decluttering I'm going to have a heck of a declutter coming up um, this is a, a mini waffle iron isn't it cute yeah so you spray that with some cooking oil and then I mix a quarter cup of oatmeal a quarter cup of cottage cheese and an egg mix them all together put a couple drops of vanilla in and I stick half the batter on here when the steam stops I have this beautiful healthy protein waffle smoosh everything together really well divide it in half put the first half spread it as thin as possible when the steam stops it's done it's a weird color looking waffle but it tastes great it tastes great I mean I had a little bit of sugar-free syrup on it and it's it's a really nice treat in the morning in the cold I'm so glad I am so glad I got this. I got a seat cover that heats up for my car. It's between 30 and $35, I think, on Amazon. Best investment I made this winter. We had some super cold mornings where, you know, I went in, I started the car to heat it up, and um, I had to scrape the windows. And when I got back in, I was so cold. And I plugged this in. They used to call it the cigarette lighter. Remember those days? They had a, a little cigarette lighter, and you plugged it into this thing. When you pulled it out, you lit your cigarette, and then you put it back in. <laughs> anyway, they don't have the cigarette lighter in it anymore. But they call it a power outlet, and they have a flap on it. <laughs> but it's the same, same kind of you know, device that you stick in. You can, and you just plug this seat into that and it, it heats up within 90 seconds you feel that warmth on your back and you feel it 
on your thighs. It's absolute, it's like, oh. So, you know, it's actually good too. If you have a sore back, it feels great on that. So I'm so glad I got that. And I do recommend it if you live in a climate where it's really, really cold in the winter and your car is a lower end model like mine, it doesn't have heated seats. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Topic, of course, um, this is something that you, you just shake it onto your head and it makes your scalp disappear. And it has the mini fibers, almost it looks like pencil erasing, it's really. But it blends into your hair so nicely. And I the light brown shade. If you have blonde hair, the light brown shade is probably your best bet because the blonde shade's really yellowy white. And um, I, ha I did think I was really smart. I had the yellowy white blonde one and this one. I mixed them together. Um, I think the light brown is fine, you know, and, and in CVS you can use your 40% off. In CVS you can use your 40% off coupon, you know, and get a better deal on this. But, you know, this runs about 25 bucks. So it's kind of expensive, 25, 30 bucks. God knows what it is now. I haven't bought it in six months, but everything's going up so high. Um, I wouldn't be without this. This is my favorite product of the year, kind of a thing for my hair. I've never, in the last five, 10 years, I don't think I've ever been without it. Since it came out, I think, I've used it. So uh, for nails, again, I love these nails. And, I, you know, a couple of you were saying you like the Dashing Divas, which they're, they're in the drugstore. These are the Color Street knockoffs, um, Lillian Fox. Uh, Dashing Diva makes something similar. I think it's a lesser quality than the Lillian Fox, and I think it's a lesser quality than the Color Street. But you can, and I think this one is a Dashing Diva. Um, I like it. I have all different sparkles, uh, different ones on there. What I like using these kinds of nail tabs for, and basically you peel this off, you stick it on your nail, and you cut around the edge uh, and press it down, and it's like having three coats of nail polish on your nail. What's nice about that is I can't do a design like that with nail polish. So I like it for the design um, things. If I'm just using a plain color like I do on my toes, I just use a plain old nail polish. But with designs and with specialty items, I love these. And also even to, you know, these sparkles, this has got little sparkle thingies in it. Really, really sweet. I like these. Uh, they last about two weeks. And before they start getting shabby or your, your nail starts to grow and you get like a little ridge in the, in the middle there, um, that's the only thing really that stops them. But they're pretty, pretty um, durable. And I like that. So Lily and Fox, they're $2.99 for a set. And they've got a really good assortment of sets of designs. Um, I think they're $4.99 in CVS for Dashing Diva, which gives you, they give you more nails in the set. Um, slightly lesser quality, but they're also extremely, you know, very convenient to use. It's kind of the new way to put nails on. Color Street started it all. They're the most expensive, though. And they run between $12 and $15 a set. And I just don't want to pay that. And I know Color Street has now added more products to their, uh, to their line. Um, I did try again, and I tried it before. I didn't like it. This is the CoverGirl um, Lid Lock Eye Lid Primer. And it works nice. I mean, it's, it, it, there was, again, nothing really special about it. I like using like the Ulta one. I like using a MAC Painterly, you know, paint pot. So, I, I, you know, it's nice and it's not expensive, which is nice. So it, it's okay. It's got a, um, an applicator. There is a slight tint to it, but it does not tint anything. It doesn't hide any discolorations or anything. It does work nicely, but it, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it my favorite. So this is ColourPop's No Filter Concealer, and I bought it on a whim, really. I think it was because I bought something else from there, and let me see. Let me just put it here. It's it's a really nice concealer. It is very matte. 
And I like that because I don't want a lot of shine underneath my eyes unless I put it there with eyeshadow. Um, I think it stays put. Once you put it down, it stays put. And usually if I use like a creamier uh, concealer, you know, like the Anastasia, um, I have to go back in and pat it in and tap in some powder to set it. This I don't have to set. I can just put it on. I got the wrong color though. I got the very light shade. I wish I bought the next shade up, but I'm always scared because if you get a concealer shade too dark, it can make you look tired. So I got I go lighter with those things. Light ten. I would probably go up two shades. Um, it's slightly yellow too. So I would go to a more um, neutral shade if I can find it and just one shade up. But this was a wonderful concealer. Wonderful. Uh, also too, um, and I, I don't want to really discuss Timu or you know the website, but this Langmani um, concealer is so nice. It feels a lot like the Lancome Tinted Doll. And it just, it's creamy, it's beautiful, it spreads nicely. Um, and it was like a dollar sixty-eight or something, some outrageously low price. So um, I, I'm, you know, I was using that all this month as well. So it is a fave. Um, I, I pulled this back out because somebody named it as their favorite concealer, and I had to pull it back out to see if it worked. And it actually works rather nicely. I have it on this side, and I'm just gonna. Um, There's a lot of drag. I think that's why I didn't care for it because there was a lot of drag with it. And I used um, both of my favorites this month, uh, both of my favorite concealer brushes, the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush and then the Angie Hot and Flashy one from BK Beauty, um, the cat paw shaped one. They're both really good. I think I actually prefer the Rare Beauty maybe because it's a little more dense Yeah, it's a little more dense. The Cat Paw um, BK Beauty one, I think I can't be quite as precise with this, and that's really the only difference in these two as far as how well they put the concealer on. So either one of these is good, and they're both about the same price, so it's not, you know, here or there. Uh, it's really accessibility if you don't want to wait for an order to come in from BK Beauty. I'd love to see her in a store. That would be nice. But I know they have to pay a huge uh, commission to the stores in order to have their products featured in there. And I love Lisa. I do watch all of her videos. Um, so it's nice. I mean, it's it's if, if I had to choose one, I'd probably choose the Rare Beauty, but I do like this and I would use this for maybe highlighter as well. I'd use this for probably a wider variety of things. This one, strictly I would use it for the concealer. This is the Iconic London Skin Tint. And I uh, got this one on this side. Um, I did get a color that's medium light. And I think it's just slightly dark for my skin tone with this. The Iconic London is a skin tint. And it is a skin tint. I think it's something you would wear during the day because it's undetectable on your skin during the day um, but it does wear down by the afternoon and um, it looks nice on it wears down it's very thin so you can't tell you're wearing makeup I mean if you want that look if you want to look like your skin just looks really healthy and nice which I think most of us do want that look but it does I'd say in the afternoon it does wear down uh, this was some people's favorite for the year, and of course I bought it because, you know, I watch YouTubers just like you do, and if they say they love something, I go and try it, okay? Um, the Iconic London Skin Tint. I, I like it. I would recommend it, but only if you're going out for a few hours because it just seems to wear off by the afternoon, and I, it, I can't get through a full day of work with it. So um, it doesn't work for me in that capacity, but what I would do is add something with this and make it work. I would add another uh, foundation to this. So um, it's doable, it's nice, it's not 100% fantastic, but it is undetectable on your skin. Even aged skin, it doesn't go into the lines, it doesn't accentuate pores, um, 
and you know this there's a nice color range to this so I think I got the medium light because they were out of the, the lighter shade of this so um, Iconic London is the name and that is the skin tint now the makeup by Mario this actually shows a little bit of the texture um, I have that and all of his shades seem a little bit on the yellow side uh, this is 7C, which is 7 cool, and it's, you know, <laughs> it's a little, I have it on this side though, and it doesn't translate to, to that, um, but it does seem to show texture a little bit, and I think that that's something that, um, you know, concerns me, but when I tried it on my hand in store, it looked great, it looked great, uh, it's not glowy, I don't think it's glowy really it is uh, a little bit hydrating looking so um, jury's out I still prefer my RMS and I think that that's something that um, that this did not beat but um, you know it worked fine it stayed all day but it did gravitate towards lines you know by the end of the day I had to pat in and pat under uh, where it had gone into some of the lines, so I'm really like, mm, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Um, it's not the best in the world, it's not the worst either, and I just, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to find the right color to, to get it, but um, I like others better, I'll just put it that way. This was new to me, and I got it along with the mascara that I'll talk about later. This is the Milani contour stick oh my goodness this is a wonderful product is it as good as you know who's yep it is I love it it's got the same kind of brush tip applicator this is the lightest shade I think it's called honey I don't know why they call it a conceal but it's a contour it's a bronzer <laughs> and they're calling it honey number one and it's from Milani, it's their new, um, they're coming out with a lot of new makeup. And boy, I think between Milani and e.l.f., we're going to see some really high-end looking products in the drugstore. They're starting to come in now, they're not in store yet. I had to order this from, from the website, but they should be in store within the next month or so, I would think. This is wonderful, it's a contour stick, it works really well. I have texture on my skin so it doesn't look as nice on me but it does um, it looks really well as and it blends nicely uh, absolutely wonderful so the Milani uh, contour in honey perfect for my skin or lighter skin the color pop they had this set on sale and it was during the um, Black Friday sale and I got this set for I think $19 or something incredibly low price for all of these brushes and um, the one thing about ColourPop that I was a little alarmed at was that uh, if you wash them if you have them in water the wood splits and on one of them it's really bad let me just see I don't know if you can see that the wood split the stuff coated on the outside. Yeah, this one's real bad. You see that? Can you see that? Yeah, they all split a little. Cracked. And these are the ColourPop brushes, and I love the brushes. I love them. Um, I especially love this shape. It looks like a top of a pencil eraser. That's my favorite shape. And this particular set has so many of everything. I mean, you don't need other brushes. If you get this set, you won't need to buy any other brushes. It's absolutely wonderful. You can use some of these too. I think you could use this one really for your concealer. Uh, you've got highlight brushes, blush brushes, powder blushes, uh, brushes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, and it comes in this little roll-up set, so you can flop it down. And they all came with the larger brushes came with their own covers so I mean that was it's a terrific um, it's a terrific deal even with that cracking on the wood 
I would recommend this. I mean, look at this for travel or whatever. Um, new this month is I got the Laura Mercier blush in chai. Uh, this is I'm wearing this on this side. Let me just put it here. It's a natural looking, um, healthy looking flush. So it's, it's really pretty. And I also did get from Rare Beauty, I got the uh, Hope, I think is the color, which is kind of a deeper mauve shade. Very powerful. <laughs> a little goes a long way. <laughs> Woo boy, okay. <laughs> But it lasts all day, and I think that's the thing about the Rare Beauty blushes, is they last all day, and I like that because at work, I can't be going to the bathroom and checking my makeup and retouching my makeup. I can't do it. So I had that on this side initially. Okay, let's just put one dot here. Okay. I'll just take my finger and just blend it out. It's really nice. I, I love um, the Rare Beauty blushes. Last year, I think I got the little set of three, and um, I liked them. I just never replaced them when I th and I thought, well, you know, now that I'm oh my goodness, now that I'm leveling up my uh, collection and everything else in my life, um, I thought I would just get some really good quality things, just a few, and have those, and not have to make a decision between thirty blushes or you know, 50 eyeshadow palettes or, you know, so it's going to be quite a declutter coming up. So this is the Rare Beauty Pinched Cheek Blushes, and this is the color Hope. Um, this was another item I wanted to try because so many people love it, and I wasn't sure if I would or not. But apparently the charm of this particular item is you can use these products as eyeshadows, as well as the bronzer. So, yeah. I guess you can. See here. Now these palettes, this also has a blush that looks a lot like the um, chai shade that I was just showing. <laughs> so um, yeah, I gotta say, uh, it's nice. It's got, you know, contour here, it's got a bronzer here, it's got a blush, it's got two different shimmery highlights, and it's got kind of a powdery, uh, makes a wonderful, as you can see, it makes a wonderful base shadow. So this is not only a face palette, it is an eye palette. And for that reason, I do like it, it has a mirror, um, it's high quality stuff, and this is from Smashbox, it's the Calais Contour, palette from Smashbox. For my lashes today, I did use the Super Stronghold 3D Eyelash Adhesive Black from Eye Envy. And I don't know if this is something that you can, I think this is the one that you can get in Dollar Tree or Walmart. Really cheap. Really, really nice. Um, it holds better than pretty much any of the adhesives I've used ever. Really nice. I got the black so I can draw the line along the, the ridge and then I stick the lashes onto it. It's a really easy way if you don't know how to put false lashes on. That works nicely. Um, you can also paint the lashes themselves on the ridge and let them sit for at least 20 seconds before you stick them on your eye because it needs to get tacky so that it doesn't roll all over the place and smear the, the glue all over your eyelid. Um, so there's a reason. You have to be patient with that. You have to do that. And that's really nice stuff. Warm Mascara. Boy, this one was controversial. <laughs> this is Milani's new mascara, which has a similar name to their other new mascara. 
Milani highly rated lash extensions and this is their take on the Thrive Cosmetics lash extensions mascara and I have used both my Thrive Cosmetics mascara has been a favorite of mine for the last three years um, I did a special on them and talked about it and recently about a month or so ago I saw Jen Phelps do a special where she had this on one side and she had the Thrive Cosmetics on the other side and they literally looked identical with a minor exception that the Milani side actually looked a little bit longer and I thought wow this is great I'm gonna go out and I ordered it I couldn't find it anywhere locally so I ordered it online at the Milani website and they took over a month to get it to me three weeks to a month to get to me I was so upset you know and this came with my um, contour stick anyway this works really nicely it I saw very little difference between the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara and this. There are two things that come to mind. One is, this had little dings at the very end of my lashes, little, like, little dots. And I just picked those right off. And I found that later in the afternoon, when I just kind of pushed on my lashes to see what was going on with them, they felt a little crispier. I think the, um... The Thrive Cosmetics Mascara it doesn't have the little thingies on the end, and it's a little more flexible, rubbery-like. So they are different in that respect, but as far as the lash and the look of it, identical. Really good. Some people complained that um, it was a messy mascara because it is a wet formula, um, but you really do need to, um, and Jen does this, but she didn't do it on camera, and she actually put an apology on Facebook um, there's two ways you can do this. When you pull it out, you can wipe off the excess here on the tube, or you can just kind of wipe off the excess on a napkin before you put it on. Because if you don't, you wind up with a big blob that you spread out. And just like with eyeshadow or anything else, you know, it took me a long time to figure that you shouldn't put a big blob of eyeshadow on and then spread it out. Same thing with this mascara. You don't put a big blob of the mascara on and spread it out. So that was the big controversy that people said, I bought it because of the YouTuber saying it was wonderful, it was just like Thrive, and I hated it. It was so cloppy and clumpy. And, and it's like, okay, if you pull it straight out like this and yank, put it on there, you may find that a lot of excess product makes a clump on your lashes. But if you use it correctly, it really is a beautiful mascara. I totally recommend it. Now, the only reason I would recommend Thrive Cosmetics over this is because I like what Thrive Cosmetics does for community give back. They give product and money to cancer programs such as Look Good, Feel Better. They um, give scholarships to nurses. They give money and products to shelters. And I think that, you know, that's where a lot of that excess money is. They cost a little more than other mascaras do, but they use the extra money that you pay them towards investing in the community, and I really like that. Now, Milani is half the price, so the budget side of me goes right here. <laughs> yeah, up high. This is perfect. This is a wonderful mascara. I totally recommend it. And uh, it does wash off at night really easy, especially if you use like a, a makeup remover. Usually just warm water and, you know, you can just pull off the little spider legs right off. Um, but I use a makeup remover and then I do a cleanse. So wonderful stuff, Milani's um, mascara. Eyeshadow palettes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I got some gift certificates um, for um, the holidays, and I want to thank you, um, Lauren, for your generous gift certificate. That was so nice, and I did use it um, for purchase towards some of the items in today's collection, actually. Um, and also to Mrs. Loretta, that was so sweet of you. Very, very uh, generous and nice. Uh, thank you so much. And 
several of you others sent me cards. I got a card from New Zealand, a card from Australia, a card from Germany. Um, I just really, thank you so much. It was just, I love to get holiday cards. I put them all on my door and um, it just, I don't know if it validates me in kind of a weird way, but I just feel like, oh, there are people out there. You know, there's people. So uh, thank you very much for, for that. I never ask you guys for money. I'm not part of Patreon. Um, and I just, you know, this is a hobby for me. It's not a job. And I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing what I learn about the products and things. It's a little bit different than somebody else who um, sells things. They're basically a commercial for their sponsor. And I can't do that. And I've been offered many times to do that. And I can't. So anyway, um, actually I left out one of the foundations I tried this month because I've already returned it and it is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It uh, Foundation and, and uh, someone had said it was their favorite drugstore foundation. I don't know where they got that from or what kind of skin they have that it worked with but it went straight into all my lines, accentuated dry texture. It showed polka dot chin pores. It was horrible. It was one of the worst foundations I've ever used, so I, I can't recommend it. I have a picture of me in the window that I took. I lost the footage. And I, I sometimes will make a clip early on and then I forget and I delete everything off of the card. And I'm so sorry, I, I lost the footage, but I do have the pictures of that foundation and what it did to my skin. So, um, that was a fail. That was a fail. So I wanted to try this from Natasha Denona. This is the My Dream Palette. And uh, a lot of people had said that it's theirs too. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll try. It's not My Dream Palette, okay? Um, there are some really good colors in here, though. And I find that with most Natasha Denona palettes, there's like maybe three or four colors in the palette that I love. And the rest of it, it's like, I don't, probably won't ever use that, you know? I, I don't know. You know, this is no. This is a no right here. This. You know, it's just. And this one, the duochromes. Uh, for some reason, duochromes don't look good on 64-year-old eyelids, mine. And I just can't get them to not accentuate and in the last 10 years I've grown a new fold in my eyelids so with the new folds new folds um, those duochromes just seem to accentuate like look she's got a new fold in her eyelids so I don't really like those two duochromes very much this one because it's orangey red which I hate anyway orangey sunflower and um, but there are some like this shade, which looks so pretty underneath the eyes. It's a kind of a um, bronzy, mauvey bronzy uh, shade. Looks really pretty under the eyes. Um, the deep purple is nice. You know, the black's nice. The brown's nice. There are some basics in here that you can use. There's no light matte shade, though. Where's that? That would be in my dream palette. Um, I need a light matte shade. So uh, that's missing. Um, this is nice for, you know, kind of transitioning the transition color, just the outside edge of my transition color in this light uh, kind of pink color. The gold is pretty. Um, the purples are nice. I mean, it's a nice palette. I, I wouldn't call it my dream palette, but I think the quality is very good. Um, I think this is more usable than a lot of her other palettes are in my opinion you know and it really is just my opinion again I'm 64 I have dry skin I have very wrinkly lids right now so I like to kind of disguise the wrinkly lids thing or at least not accentuate that part of it so you know and I think I did a fairly good job this time but yeah it's a nice palette it's not my dream palette but it is a nice palette and it is good quality so if you're attracted to the colors in this I would recommend it um, all right. <laughs> oh. 
I wanted so bad to love this palette because I'm really, and I think this year, turquoise and peacock purples are going to be big. I just have a feeling. Anyway, this is the Aurora Struck palette from ColourPop. It took a month to get to me. I had to order it online because they didn't have it in the stores around me. Again, I don't know if I just live in a bad, I'm in Connecticut. These companies, most of them are based around California, so in California they must get them earlier, or Midwest and West must get them all a lot earlier than we do. But it took a long time. Now, I've tried several different eye looks using this palette. There's some really outstanding colors in here. Um, I love the colors I love in here, but there's a lot of kind of junky colors that really aren't all that appealing. I did do swatches of this. I did my Jen Phelps swatch Thing. So let me just show you. These top two rows were the only ones that I found a little bit disappointing except for uh, this light shimmer and um, I believe this, uh, this one. But there was one in here that had so much micro glitter fallout. I was actually a little afraid. It went into my eyes and I just had visions of having the glitter go into the back because I did have that happen uh, last year in the summertime. Um, the color I really wanted to love was this one, and it is a beautiful, like, peacock turquoise blue, and the color next to it, which is kind of a, you know, combining those colors. What I did find, though, is on their own, they look really nice, but they didn't blend with each other. And then this one, too, this beautiful, outstanding, light lavender color. Let me just put a little here so you can see it. Just changing my eye look up a little bit. But I mean, those kinds of colors, like that one, and um, there's a pretty deep blue color too that I have on the edges here. Um, really, really pretty. I mean, it's worth having the palette for these two rows. Really beautiful. And this shade. And then we've got this one, which, you know, again, you've got these beautiful. This is more of a topper shade though. It wasn't as pigmented. So some of the shades that I really liked, they weren't as pigmented as I hoped. But I do think the, the palette's worth having because of these unusual and unique colors. And I think it's worth having um, just to spiff up the eye look a little bit. I mean, it just does something. It just does something. Even to an older eye, you know. Again, I'm gonna be 65 in February. That's only like a month and a half away. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a number. You know, that's a number. That's a, uh, I may get another tattoo. I don't know. Okay. Aurora Struck is the name of the palette from ColourPop. I do recommend it. I think um, in general, it's good quality shadows, but I think the ones that you probably want to be really pretty and pigmented are topper shades or they're micro glitter filled and you get more micro glitter than color. So I still think it's worth it. I love it. I love the colors and I'm keeping it. Also, too, uh, this is the No Silent Nights uh, palette from Morphe, and I don't like Morphe as a company. I hate them as people, ethically. Their company is horrible. It's horrible to its, its um, influencers. Anyway, they have a history. You know, they have a history. I always walk by their palettes, and of course, when you're walking by and you see something like this, you're like, oh my God. 
I can use so many of these colors. And I did. I, just, I fell for it again, and I'm really happy with this palette. It's, it's no Silent Nights. It's their holiday palette, which, you know, I don't like to buy those to begin with because I can't talk about them. After the holiday, when these are sold out, that's it. It's the holiday palette, so you can't get it anymore, and I can't really talk about it. But I really like it, and if it's on sale, I'd recommend it to you. And just use the colors. Don't think about it, that it's a Christmas or a holiday palette. It's really nice. <laughs> um, it's got some beautiful shades in here, and I, my hands are blue and black now, but um, you can, I don't, I mean, this row here, forget it. This, this last row is all, you know, and I talked about it in my um, best of the drugstore, but you've got these beautiful, like, shimmery shades, satiny shades that are so pigmented and wonderful, and then you've got your basics. Up top here, you've got some basics and bottom your top and bottom rows have basic colors you can use for everyday eye looks you can use this palette all year long for all your eye looks so i like it and so i still recommend it i think this is new from nyx this is their smooth whip um lip lips lipstick stuff and i like it but oh let's see it goes on a little lighter than it shows. It's lighter and brighter than it looks here, and I'm putting it over a gloss so it's a little shinier, but uh, this particular shade, what this shade is called Kitty Belly. Um, that doesn't make it any more attractive. Anyway, um, this is the Smooth Whip NYX. I like it. I would get a different color, but it's balmy feeling, and it stays all day. I really like that part of it. I could wear it at work, but it's a little bright. It's just a little bright. You need to tone it down with something. Just need to tone it down a little bit, and it looks really nice. Your lips, much better, much brighter, balmy, not sticky not no scent which is nice it's nice to not have a scent in things that's why i really protest the maybelline and l'oreal lipsticks and lip products because they're so stinky until they take that floral scent out i'm not gonna buy them this was on sale at sephora and i had some gift certificates um for sephora and i got that this is only 15 dollars from makeup forever these are two they're called supreme nude lips and there's two colors here one's um a little more pinkier than the other one's more neutral tan uh, absolutely beautiful let me just show you this is the tan one and this is the pinky one this is a nice combination you can even wear them together to create, um, and it was fifteen dollars, one five, fifteen dollars for two. I don't know what happened there. If it was an overstock, or they're discontinuing it, or it was a holiday thing, but what a wonderful deal! And I think it's still on the Sephora website. I'll link it below if it is. So, and also too, they're making it harder and harder to read a YouTube video description. <laughs> it's a couple lines, and then there's like a dark bolded out more. The word more is bolded out with three dots after it. You have to click on that in order to see the description. And then it'll show you just part more again and there'll be another uh, bolded out more. And you have to click on that to get the whole list of people's like links and, and comments and all that stuff. The comments section comes up and then there's all these videos that come up underneath. So it's it's very different. They're making it very hard for especially smaller channels to communicate with people. And I, I'm, I'm getting so exasperated. I wish there was something besides YouTube. Honestly, I wish there was something besides YouTube. And I don't like shorts. I don't like watching shorts. I feel cheap, cheap when I watch a short. <laughs> it's just like, hi, blah, 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 blah 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 one thing blah blah and then hi blah 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 one thing blah blah it's like looping 
and it's like I and is that a millennial mindset thing I don't know I don't like watching shorts at all unless it's a cooking trick if it's a cooking trick or a iron your clothes this way trick that kind of thing I will watch those um, but I won't watch makeup ones I just this is these are the best foundations of the year blah blah blah, blah. these are the best foundations of the year blah blah blah, blah. and it, it just I I, I just feel cheated out of the video, if you know what I mean. And I, I, I just, I hate to have to join it. I hate to have to go down the rabbit hole and join it. But they constantly send me emails from YouTube saying, Hey, you know, you could get some more viewers if you do shorts and everybody's watching them. And I'm like, well, not really. I don't watch them. When I see my makeup buddies with their shorts, I don't watch them. I don't like them. Not makeup. But, if you're going to show me how to make a pancake, yeah, I'll watch it. <laughs> so, they're trying to compete with TikTok, which, you know, TikTok has its own blend. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I hope all of you are having a wonderful, brand new 2023. Uh, Happy New Year. And I will see you soon in the next video. Take care, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Toodles.